Believe it or not, this is not zoomed in. Mother and baby, perfectly happy. Today we're at Nukuruba Crater Lake Community Campsite and Nature Reserve. Uh, we came here expecting it to be quite full and touristy because we did find it in the guidebook but actually it's almost empty, it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, yesterday and this morning we saw both verva and black and white colobus monkeys. Yesterday uh, we also had a swim in the Crater Lake which is maybe just 200 meters across by about 100 and it's warm but maybe up to 100 meters deep and uh, yes yeah, very beautiful here very quiet and very cheap <laughs> for the same price as a tent in some other places we're getting our own van this morning we are going on a bike ride to investigate some of the other crater lakes so this should be fun seeing as I haven't really ridden a bike properly for about <laughs> 10 years. <laughs> Neither have I! Mother's not too concerned. <laughs> All out war now. <gasps> it's our third day at Lake Nukruba and it's been one of the most relaxing times so far. Um, this crater lake, along with the others in the area, are some of the few places in the whole region where you can swim because there's no crocodiles, no hippos, and no bilhartsia. Um, yesterday we did some bike riding, a bit more adventurous, but today we've just been here and had two swims in this beautiful lake. And just now we swam across to the other side and uh, got out on a very small rock and there was a group of red colobus monkeys just in the trees around us. Um, they're not a monkey that we'd seen so far, so it was so amazing to be that close and no one else around. Oh, watch out. Ooh. Come on, guys. A few of them are deciding that the jump is not worth it. Yeah, they've all decided that now. We're on our way to Toro Semeliki National Resort. Um, so I think we 
First attire about 40 minutes ago. Didn't have the right kind of jack. Flagged down another car. Um, we, were, we were on the road again, going at about, I'm not joking, about 15 miles an hour. And we thought we had a three hour journey. And now we've stopped because everyone wants to buy their fruit and vegetables. Um, We've just done a two hour hike in a riverine forest in Toro Semeliki National Reserve which apart from the forest is a sort of classic uh, safari park. Um, it's one of the least visited in Uganda though and it was pretty amazing on our way in and out to be on the back of Boda Bodas or motorbike taxis. Um, going through this park with antelope and baboons and buffalo just alongside us. The reason for the hike was to hopefully spot chimpanzees, though they definitely don't guarantee it. In fact, what we went on was called a primate walk, and our guide said that only two of the last uh, 10 or 11 groups he's taken through the forest have seen chimpanzees. Luckily, that included us, and we got to see a couple. Um, but using our, our sharp eyes, because they don't call like other chimpanzees, they're also a bit smaller as they live in arid forest instead of rainforest and they dig wells which is very interesting and unique behaviour. At first the forest was silent, we just saw some droppings but uh, a nearby ranger had actually just lost the chimps so we were walking through the grasslands at the edge looking for them feeding and luckily I spotted a little rustling in a tree and uh, it was a juvenile chimp just keeping an eye on us. Uh, we, so we saw that a few times and followed it into the forest and a bit later on we bumped into a mother chimp with a baby uh, much closer up and saw her swing away through the trees very fast. Um, they're not habituated as well, which makes them a lot harder to find and a lot more skittish around people. Yeah. Uh.